all right y'all you already know ldbc so we got some news coming out of boxing though it's a little late but you know better late than never ryan garcia everybody knows that ryan garcia came off of no contest against Devin the dream haney as even though ryan garcia knocked Devin haney down at what three times he still because he tested positive for performance enhancement by the New York State Athletic Commission and VADA, uh, he's currently on a one-year suspension. And, uh, of course, Ryan Garcia went on racist rants, and then he apologized. He said he was going to rehab, and then he never did. But now he's coming out saying that he will be fighting uh, kickboxer Rukia Ampo from, from Japan. Now, a lot of people might remember Rukia. He pretty much... It, it, I mean, he fought an old shell of himself, Manny Pacquiao, in an exhibition match over there. I think it was in Tokyo, and um, he pretty much. I mean, it was, it was, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad watching a legend like a Manny Pacquiao almost get knocked out by this guy, right? And I never personally ever heard of him before all of this. Uh, maybe some of y'all have, but I really am haven't heard too much about him. Well, Ryan Garcia came out and told people that he's going to end up fighting him. Now, does he have a date yet? No, but um, I guess he don't have to fight. Him. I mean, he it's not a sanctioned fight since he's currently on a one year suspension. But this is what Ryan Garcia had to say quote, I'm looking forward to knocking out Ampo for disrespecting Manny Pacquiao. I'll teach him a lesson in respect. And this is what Ampo had to say I surpass Ryan in size, speed, and power. If he treats this like a party i'll give him a beat down and show america who really who's the real bad boy now look honestly am i looking forward to this exhibition i mean no but i'm sure a lot of y'all are and um do i if, if they were to fight honestly ryan's probably going to uh delete this guy in the ring if we're if we're talking about if we're talking about gloves like strictly boxing ryan garcia is going to delete this guy if we're talking about kickboxing then i'm going to delete ryan garcia but um I don't know. Personally, y'all y'all can support the fight. I don't know. It, and who knows? Ryan, he does a lot of talking. He does a lot of, you know, I'm going to fight. And then he don't. Remember, at one point, he was going to fight uh, Devin Haney. This was years ago when Devin Haney was the champion at 135 pounds, WBC champion. Then he said, oh, I'm going to fight an exhibition match with Manny Pacquiao. And my whole point is, Ryan just be running his mouth. Uh, one moment, he, he got a problem with George Floyd. Then he loved black people. Then he don't. Then he do. And this is hard for, I don't know, I'm probably going to get a lot of thumbs down with this video, but we got to be honest and um you know it's i'm as a boxing as somebody in the boxing media it's very uh disturbing to see how ryan um pretty much got a slap on the wrist for what he did to Devin haney and guess what if the roles were reversed i would be saying the same thing but i get i, I know a lot of y'all have a problem with Devin haney and bill haney i know the real big reason why but you know a lot of y'all just say because because of bill haney but um you know whatever if ryan want to fight ryan can fight whoever, whoever he wants to fight as long as it's not a sanctioned bout for one of these uh wbc wba wbo ibf belts um but again he's probably just talking who's and, and oscar's probably not even gonna sign off on it i'm sure he would have to do something because you know he gonna want to cut off of it as well but hey if they fight they fight it is what it is get it on but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it um also also real quick because of the jake paul mike tyson success don't be surprised if you see more cross promotion but i mean overall boxing has became a disgrace uh and this is why it's hard for me to make videos about it because it's not what it used to be boxing used to be the premier first of all boxing used to be the premier sport it was boxing horse racing and basketball right i mean baseball right it didn't even like in the, in the 1920s you had um uh jack dempsey pretty much uh holding the crown in the 30s and 40s you had joe lewis so on and so forth then you had the ali's and the the uh um, Ro rocky marciano before before ali you had people constantly carrying the torch of sports but it seems like within the last 10 years man and maybe even a little longer boxing has become a joke it's more now about reality than it is actual fights you really not seeing people are so afraid because of what floyd did to the sport as far as i got to owe and I'm not going to lose. You got so many people afraid to take L's that they don't want to mix it up no more. And now you have things like this. Like 20 years ago, this would have never happened. Ryan Garcia would not be even entertaining something like this because it would be such a disgrace to the sport. But boxing has become a sideshow, you know. And, and But that's, I just want I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Am I tripping? Is it me? Do y'all still love the sport like how y'all did? I mean, I'm not going to walk away. I'm not going to stop making videos about boxing because it is my first love, but it's just hard, man. You know, it, it's, it's really, we need to be, we, why are we not talking about mega fights happening right now? Why are we not got mega fights lined up for next year? I'm going to have to make a separate video about this, but yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.